1929's Blackmail was Alfred Hitchcock's first thriller and was one of the most successful British films of the year. It was also the first British film to have synchronized sound. The film began as a silent film and then was changed to sound during filming. Both a silent version and the version with sound were released in theaters and the silent version can be found in the British Film Institute collection. One of Hitchcock's early directing efforts, a film called The Mountain Eagle, tops the British Film Institute's list of most desired lost films. All prints of the film disappeared, and the only remnants are some production photos and a lobby card that was discovered at a flea market. Hitchcock, on the other hand, was reportedly quite pleased that the movie disappeared, and was said to have called it a very bad movie. Hitchcock was a notorious practical joker, and in some cases, his pranks became part of the creative process for his films. While filming The 39 Steps, he handcuffed the leads together and claimed to have lost the key. They stayed chained together for over an hour before he miraculously found the key again. At one point he claimed to be interested in the drama of being handcuffed as a major theme in the film and that the ordeal was intended to help the stars develop chemistry. The set of Rear Window was far from an ordinary set. Hitchcock had the apartment complex in the movie constructed for the film, and it was the largest indoor set ever built at Paramount Studios. The complex took six weeks to set up and had a drainage system for the rain scene, and a special wiring mechanism to achieve the complex lighting for both the interior and the exterior. When Hitchcock started making movies in Hollywood, he was often frustrated with the strict guidelines that regulated movie content and would find crafty ways of getting around the rules. With Psycho, he sent the censors highly graphic scenes of violence and nudity to keep them from cutting the subtler scenes that were important to him. When asked to reshoot the sexually suggestive opening, he pretended not to understand and asked them to personally deliver instructions. When the censors didn't show, he was able to keep the scene as is. Hitchcock received five Academy Awards nominations for Best Director for his movies, but he never won the award. In 1968, the Academy decided to honor him with the Irving G. Thalberg Memorial Award for his lifetime of achievement, for which he gave the shortest acceptance speech in Oscars history saying, thank you, very much indeed. Aspiring actors need not audition for a Hitchcock movie. He apparently preferred to work with already established actors who were known to audiences so that he could focus on the plot and not the actors. Five of Hitchcock's films were unavailable to the public for 30 years. Hitchcock bought back the rights to The Man Who Knew Too Much, Rope, Vertigo, Rear Window, and The Trouble with Harry after their first run, meaning that they could only be screened again if he were paid a royalty. He willed the rights to his daughter Patricia after his death, and she held on to them for another five years before releasing the rights. The films were dubbed The Five Lost Hitchcocks by his fans. In the movie Rear Window, Hitchcock used a unique technique to make the setting more authentic. All of the sound in the film is diegetic, all of the sounds were natural noises from the location. Hitchcock was the first to use this method, which didn't become widely used for 20 more years. Alfred Hitchcock wasn't always able to get projects off the ground, and one such project was the unmade film The Blind Man, which Hitchcock planned for Jimmy Stewart to star in. Disneyland was supposed to be the setting of one of the film's major scenes, but Walt Disney, having seen Psycho and been disgusted by it, refused to allow him to film there and effectively killed the project. For the movie Vertigo, Alfred Hitchcock invented a camera shot called the Dolly Zoom, which is sometimes called the Hitchcock Zoom or the Vertigo effect. In the shot, the camera lens zooms in while the camera moves away, or vice versa. The shot was originally used to show the audience what the main character was experiencing every time his fear of heights acted up. According to Hitchcock's daughter Patricia, Hitchcock hated filming on location. He felt that getting the right light was too difficult, and the noise required the film to be redubbed. His preference was to film in a studio where he had complete control. 